Hi everyone, welcome to Eat Me Recipes. Today I'll be showing you how to make this haddock chutney. The ingredients for this recipe is in the description box below and there you will also find a link for the full written step-by-step -step recipe which is on eatmerecipes.co.za. For this recipe I'm using the frozen boxed haddock fillets. To a pot on medium heat, add in the vegetable oil. Once the oil is hot, add in the haddock. Allow it to fry for about 6 minutes on each side. After about 6 minutes, carefully turn them over. Allow the other side to fry for about 6 minutes. Once the fish has fried, carefully remove it from the hot oil and place it into a bowl. At this point, you may leave the fish as is in pieces or you may take it further and shred them. I prefer it when the haddock is shredded as my late grandmother used to do so. And by doing so, it just gives me this nostalgic moment. So basically to shred them, you want to use two forks. And also don't stress if the fish isn't completely cooked as it will cook in the chutney. Next you want to peel and sliver an onion. Rinse and slit the green chilies. And grate or blend the tomatoes. To the same pot that the fish had been frying in, turn the heat up to medium high. Add in the onions. Add in the green chilies and thyme. Mix everything well. Allow it to saute until the onions are translucent. Once the onions are translucent, add in the red chili flakes, chili powder or masala, and ginger and garlic paste. Give it a stir. Add in the grated or blended tomatoes. Mix until the tomatoes are infused with the spices.
Cover and simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes until the oil surfaces and the tomatoes are thoroughly cooked. Once the tomatoes have cooked, add in salt, add in sugar, and give everything a stir. Next you want to add in the haddock. Gently mix the haddock into the tomato chutney. Cover and allow the fish to completely cook in the chutney for about 5 minutes. After 5 minutes you can give it a quick stir. Remove it from the heat and plate. Garnish with freshly chopped coriander or dhania and serve. This dish can be served with roti, rice, bread or whatever you prefer. I personally prefer it with soft white bread. Enjoy and don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more recipes. Just a quick reminder, the quantities are in the description box below and there you will also find the direct link for the full written recipe which is on eatmerecipes.co.za. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and also drop some recipe requests in the comment section and I will try to do those recipes as soon as I can. Enjoy!